Oh boy, it has been a hot minute since I have last taken a look at this project. Hello everybody, peeps and followers and subscribers. It is I, Leo Hightower, and welcome back to my look at, and I guess let's play, of Shining Silver Starlight Skunk and the Sanctuary, created by my friend Skunk Starlight. It has been a long, long time since I have looked at this project. And to those of you who have been patient, and to those of you who have waited a long time just to see when the next episode will be, I thank you truthfully. It's been a while since I last got back to this. I really wanted to get back to it sometime during November and December of last year, but unfortunately, small hindrances prevented me from doing so. So, yeah. Ah, but anyway, I am back fully with this Let's Play, or at least this reaction to it. And I'm going to continue from where I left off. I got the lowdown from the creator Skunk Starlight of where I should restart on this Let's Play. I mean, on this project, I mean, and I'm, uh, and I pretty much figured out, yeah, the, n I figured out how to work this thing completely without any hassle, but I think I've talked long enough. I'm doing this pretty much unscripted, so yeah. Anyway, let's continue with this project, shall we? And if you want to look at this project for yourself and see what the world of Skunk Starlight is like, I will leave a link to it in the description box in this video below but for now I think we should get started shall we and if you like what you see leave a like leave a comment and click and click the subscribe button for more and also tickle the bell so that way you'll be notified of when I do drop new videos okay peeps alrighty without further ado let's get into this and pick up where I left off Hello there, Wheat. Hello, Dog. And hello, Kiwi. Mm. Go on through and take a seat. Thank you. Oh, excuse the mouse pointer. Charlotte. Huh. Hey there, guys. Hello, Charlotte. Hmm. Welcome to San Cafe. What can I get you to? Just some fries for me. And for you? <sighs> Don't be afraid. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I, uh. Kiwi, sweetie, do you still want that chocolate malt? Not slightly. And a chocolate malt, if you don't mind. Of course. I will be I'll be back soon with your order. Thank you. Hey there, Kiwi. It's okay. <laughs> Are you excited for your malt? Mm-hmm. Nods. I'm sorry. I thought you might have been ready to try ordering for yourself. Don't worry, I'll order for you next time. Thank you. Aw, poor little guy. I guess he's still trying to get used to socializing and everything. I guess that's how it is. I could understand. 
it's a little rough to try and get used to uh, socializing and everything. Seriously. Especially if you don't know if you um, want to do things for yourself, like maybe talk to other people, try ordering something at a fancy diner or a cafe. But yeah. I wonder what the backstory for Kiwi is. It's been a while since I played this game, but yeah. And the fact that this is made with RPG Maker MV just shows how detailed it is. Seriously. <laughs> Here he comes with the order, I guess. Here's your order. Fries and a chocolate malt. Enjoy! Thank you very much. Of course. The, the. Let me know if you need anything. Enjoy your food. So, how's your malt? <laughs> there we go. That's the kiwi I love to see. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was nice. Oh. This scrawny little pipsqueak is your brother? Oh, that's not my brother. Max. A hulking brute of a man appears behind basket. That's my brother. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. I guess that's the problem with MV sprites. You, they don't have too much variety, and you have to deal with how they are positioned and everything. If they could make sprites that sit and whatnot, or do like the uh, side view battle uh, crouching position where they get weak and whatnot, that would be very beneficial. But I guess you really gotta be creative, especially with sprites and, uh, you know, improvise or just get really creative. I've been trying to figure out how to do a sitting sprite or a crouching sprite for the longest. But I guess you have to use MV side view battle sprites to get it right. Anyway, continuing. The movie ends. That was a oh, good movie. Sleepy? Yeah. Me too. Let's hit the hay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to brush my teeth. Uh, I'm so used to just using magic to clean them, I keep forgetting I have to brush them now. Hey, I, I got you. Vulture performs a gesture with her hand. Magical energies clean Skunk's teeth. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you for keeping me company. Sleep well. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> Later that night. Long time no see, trickster. Dragon. So this is Dragon. <sighs> you are a threat to the peace of this world. I cannot allow you to remain in this sanctuary. I'm sorry for all the awful things I've done. Please let me stay here. I'll behave myself. This is for the good of all, including yourself. There is nothing to be afraid of. It will be painless. You will dream, but the eons will feel like moments. I've made friends now. Dog and Vulture, they're helping me. I'm ready to change my ways. I can live a peaceful life here. Just give me a chance. Come now. Let us make our way to the Crystal Palace. You can leave this world kicking and screaming, or you can cooperate and leave with dignity. Oh boy, he's strict. He is strict. 
No, please, no! I'm not a monster! I can't be good! Please let me stay! Oh, stars above, I'm still so young. There's so many things I haven't gotten to do. Oh, I love Skunk's little facial animations. The tears and the facial expression of her, no! But that's really good and detailed, I like that. Vulture, dog, please help me! Skunk? Skunk, what's wrong? Are you alright? Please, no. I'm not ready to go. Ha <laughs> ha, excuse me, sorry. Hey, snap out of it. V Vulture? Hey there, having a bad dream? It was Dragon. He, he came to <coughs> take me away. There, there, it's okay. If I knew life in the sanctuary was going to be like this, I would have just accepted his offer to surrender while I had the chance. He wanted me to come live here, but I was so terrified to think this place is what I was so afraid of. Now I'll be lucky if I get to stay. Um, I've really screwed up. Listen, Dragon can be pretty scary, but he's not evil. Once he gets here, we'll just have to convince him that you're not a threat, and then there won't be any problem. I hope you're right. I came here to help you because I believe you have so much potential to do good in the world. Even Dragon was once a villain. You can change too. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's get some rest. Sleep tight, skunk. Hey, Vulture, you awake? I made breakfast. Uh, pancakes? Bacon? Coffee? Uh, it smells good. Heh <laughs> heh. Skunk and Vulture start eating. This is all very good. Thank you. You are most welcome. Don't mind the dishes. I'll get this cleaned up. Oh, you don't have to do... Nonsense. I have magic to take care of this. It wouldn't be right to have you scrubbing dishes down while I can just cast a spell. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hey. I completely understand. I feel so helpless. A lot of people are really scared of you. When Dog took you to the to medical, the receptionist came running and screaming to me, afraid that you would curse her. I don't want to hurt anybody. I really don't. I want to turn things around and be a better person. I miss having magic. I can't even use it in my own room. It's part of who I am. And, and it's just gone. Don't despair. There are plenty of people here, myself included, who would be more than happy to use their magic to help you. And in time, you may even earn enough to tr trust to regain your own. Mm. Cheer up. Things may seem gloomy now, but the future is bright. Dragon isn't going to take you away. You won't be stuck here forever. And you'll be casting spells again before you know it. How about we go for a walk? It looks nice out. And I could afford to lose a calorie or two after eating all that food. I like that. Alright, let me get dressed and we'll go. So Skunk can leave her room. Well, that's good. One week later...
Good afternoon. But hey. Still nervous? Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Uh, hello, Ka. Let's go sit down in the kitchen. Oh, I hope this doesn't take too long. The smell is much worse than I imagined. I don't think I can take being near casino much longer. <laughs> yeah, after being cursed by a skunk and, I guess, smelling like a skunk and whatnot, or having that foul smell, yeah, it would turn anyone's stomach or be nauseous. Something wrong? Oh, no, I'm fine. Well, I, for one, am very much not fine. Yes, about that. Skunk, I've temporarily allowed you access to your magic so that you can remove Skunk's curse. So get on with it already. Now! <sighs> Now, before I get mad, Casino, watch your temper. Skunk, could you please help Casino? I... I can't do it if I'm nervous. I need to relax. Just give me a minute, please. Uh, I'm cured? Oh, stars above, I'm cured! <laughs> hmm. You monster! You put me through weeks of hell! Uh-oh. I'm sorry! You're sorry? You're sorry? And what is all this? This is your room. You should be curled up in a tiny cell. Casino, calm down. Calm down? She's supposed to be miserable, and instead she's living it up in a fancy house. And you think treating her like garbage is going to help her become a better person? She is garbage! And if you're not going to punish her for her crimes, then I will. Damn, Casino, what the frick? Huh. Lightning! Oh, crap! Ah! Oh! No! <sighs> Oh, crap. Casino, you went too far. I can understand you being angry with Skunk after all that she has done and everything, but you went too far. Especially if you're a hero. A hero is supposed to be understanding and forgiving. But that is... Oh, man. Skunk. Casino, greatly! Let go of me... What the... My magic isn't working! Oh good! Soda! I'm afraid Casino you know, has gone from visitor to inmate now. I inmate You can't do this! I'm a hero! Please escort Casino Greyleaf back to her room. Of course. Alright Casino, let's go. Like hell! I won't ask you again. Move. Make me, you scrawny lip. Win whip! Ooh! Gah! Move. Now! Uh, okay. Skunk? Skunk, are you okay? Oh, good. She's unconscious, but she's still breathing. Alright, let's get you to medical. Oh, man. Skunk. Sweet Jesus and Cheez-Its and rice. But yeah, Casino went too far and she's supposed to be a hero. I can understand putting a hero through many, many uh, months, well, weeks, months, or even a year of pain and everything. 
And a hero does have the right for revenge and everything, but sometimes you have to have mercy on your enemy, especially if they are turning over a new leaf. Oh, one week later, sorry. How could they lock me in here like this? I didn't do anything. She deserved it. What if people find out I'm an inmate now? This is so embarrassing. I'm a hero. And Mint, my own sister. What if she looks down on me like I'm some criminal? That skunk. There's just no end to the trouble she's caused. And that lousy dog taking her sight like that. Who knows how long she's going to try and keep me here. Hey there, Ka. You! Cosino starts hitting dog. Ah, oh boy. Ugh. Dog grabs Cosino firmly by the shoulders and stares in her in the eyes. Hmm. Ugh. Please, don't hurt me. I'm I'm sorry. Panic breathing. Hmm. Uh. Dog Hugs Casino. Dog pats the bed, uh, pats the bed with her hand. Here, come sit down next to me. Uh, okay. hurt her really bad, you know. I don't appreciate having my inmates assaulted. I'm very upset with you. She, she deserved it. No, she didn't. She deserves to be an inmate here. That's her punishment. My duty is to help her become a better person, to keep her from harming other people, and to protect her from harm. Everyone is supposed to feel safe here. Residents, guests, inmates. None of us should have to live our lives in fear for our safety. But what about me? What about what I went through? Skunk made every day of my life a living nightmare. She gets rewarded and I get imprisoned? How is that fair? Rewarded? In case you forgot, she's a prisoner here too. Your time here won't be long, if you can behave yourself. But Skunk, this sanctuary will likely be her entire world for a very long time. I could give her all the comfort she could ask for, but she still wouldn't have her freedom. It may not seem like it, but being forced to stay somewhere against her will, even in a place like this sanctuary, it's no picnic. Look at your situation right now. You have a lovely room to stay in, nice food to eat, but it doesn't feel like paradise, does it? Uh... You're cured now. She's stuck here. Nobody outside has to worry about her anymore. It's over. Let go of your hatred and move on. She's my problem now. The only thing you should feel toward her now is pity. Where's my pity? My reputation as a hero will be ruined once people find out about this. Hmm. Hey, relax. I understand. Nobody has to know. Officially, you'll be here as a guest. And as long as you can behave, you won't be treated as an inmate, okay? Okay. Wonderful. The only others who are... The only others who know are Tiger, Soda, Vulture, and Skunk. You won't be required to tell anyone that you're an inmate. Thank you. Can I trust you not to hurt any more inmates? Nods. Mm-hmm. There. You should have access to your magic now. If anybody gives you trouble, I'm trusting you as a hero to resolve things as non-violently as possible. Oh. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. So, is there any chance I'll be able to go free by Thursday? Thursday? You nearly killed her, and you haven't even apologized. And I'm certainly not letting you go before she's even recovered from what you did to her. Why would I? My sister, Mint, she's going to be worried sick if I'm stuck here too long. I have no idea what to tell her. I never expected this. Your sister, huh? Do you two get along? 
we didn't used to. Growing up, we always fought, but now oh, all we really have left is each other. Though this whole situation might change that. You don't think she'd understand? Hmm. You made a mistake, a very serious mistake. But after what you've been through, it's understandable. You were in pain and lashed out. It's only natural. I think you should tell her the truth. You'll be here for a while. And it'll be a lot easier with the support of a loved one. You're probably right. But I can't bear the thought of trying to explain this to her. Don't worry about it for now. I think you've had more than enough stress for today. How about a little something nice to cheer you up? Hmm? Let's go to San Cafe. I'll get you whatever you like. I nearly killed Skunk just an hour ago, and you want to treat me to a nice meal? I guess it does uh, seem a bit strange when you put it that, like that. But I've always found that positive treatment le tends to lead to positive growth. Better than negative treatment. You made a mistake, and now you're stuck living here. I'm going to work with you and Skunk to make things right. Huh, 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 Scooby. Scooby, there's no reason f your time here has to be miserable. It's been a rough day for both of us. For just a little while, let's let our minds off. Let's take our minds off the bad and just enjoy ourselves, okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Dog wipes a tear from Casino's face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Later that evening. Uh, sorry, uh, I have to stop before I proceed. But that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. You treat you lashed out and you hurt the inmate with pain and everything. So in return, you ended up becoming an inmate. But uh, because you're a hero and whatnot, I guess you'll get a few special little privileges and whatnot. You lashed out because you were in pain. That's understandable. But you didn't have to go that far. And considering what you've been through and whatnot, I can understand that. <clears throat> As a hero, you have to grow past your pain and anger. That's important, especially if you've been wronged. Um, you're, uh, I'm willing to forgive and forget and whatnot, but if they try something like that again, they get the backhand of my fist. fist. I give second chances, especially to people, but if you try to trick me or you go behind my back then that's it's it's three strikes that's it i want nothing to do with you but yeah but anyway it's good that skunk is getting uh well skunk is getting treated i hope she'll be okay and i think it's nice that casino is ha 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 excuse me seriously uh, being treated nicely and Dog is treating her to a nice little snack. But anyway, moving on. I think after this next scene, I'm going to stop after a while. Later that evening. I must admit, that was actually really nice. She's not so bad, for a goddess at least. But there's still the matter of, well, this. Why did I have to go and... No, stay positive. So I guess I'm staying here another night, whether I like it or not, until she lets me go. But hey, let's look on the bright side. I could do much worse than this place, right? You could, especially if it's a prison and whatnot, like modern society. Uh, I'm beat. I think it's time I hit the hay.
Oh, Mint. I really screwed up today. I know I'm a hero and all, but I'm scared. What I wouldn't do to be with you right now. <laughs> Elsewhere. Hello, thank you for calling Mint's Magic and Mending. This is Mint Greyleaf. How can I help you this evening? Oh, hello. This is Dog. I'm calling from the Divine Sanctuary. Oh, is everything alright? Did my sister already leave? About that, I have some good news and bad news. Oh my goodness, is she alright? Did something happen? Don't worry, she's okay. Casino was uncursed and har unharmed. She's still at the sanctuary. She'll be staying a while longer. But she said she was going to start heading home today. I told her I needed her help with something by Thursday. As for the bad news, I'm afraid there was an incident. I incident? Casino assaulted one of the inmates. This attack was unprovoked and the victim is currently in critical condition. Your sister will be staying here with us as an inmate for the next month, provided sh providing she doesn't do anything to extend her time. Hello? Are you still there? <laughs> yes? Can I visit her? Of course. We will have no limits on visitation time. In fact, you're welcome to stay here with her for the duration of her stay, if you like. You'll find accommodations here are quite comfortable, and we can provide you free transportation to the sanctuary and transportation home if you're interested. I'm sure she, she'd really appreciate having your support. Yes, I like that very much. And would you like us to arrange transportation? We can pick you up as early as tomorrow morning. Staying here is free as well, so you can pack light. Tomorrow morning sounds good. I'll make sure I'm ready. Thank you so much. I'm sorry about this. No worries. I look forward to seeing you soon. And I'm sure Casino will be pleased to see you as well. Take care now, dear. And don't worry, she's in good care. <laughs> good, good, good. The next morning. Oh, that must be Mint, Casino's sister. Remember, please don't let her know how long I intend to keep her here. The time will pass qu by quicker if she's not counting the days. Mm hmm. She's pretty! Aww. <laughs> Someone there? Good morning, Casino. I brought somebody here to see you. Cassie! Thank goodness you're okay. Hey, that's the nickname for my sis- one of my older sisters. Cassie, Cassandra, Cassie, heh. <laughs> M mint uh. Hey, it's okay, sis. I'm here now. You you don't hate me? What? Hate you? You're my big sis. I love you. So you went to did something stupid. So what? I might get upset with you, but I'll always love you. Oh, my pal Darkio is playing RPG Maker VX. Uh, Mint hugs Casino. Aww. Sisterly love. So, I'm going to be stuck here for a while. So I've heard. But don't worry. I'll be with you the whole time. Dog says I'm allowed to stay with here with you for as long as I like. Isn't that wonderful? Really? Mm-hmm. You're both okay with sharing a room together, right? Casino and Mint nodding in agreement. Wonderful. Now, if either of you need anything, don't be afraid to ask for help, alright? That's what I'm here for. I'm happy to help. Casino may be my prisoner, but that doesn't mean we have to be enemies. Let's be friends. For now, I have a few things to take care of. 
I'll leave you two to catch up and relax. Please behave yourselves and enjoy the sanctuary. So, Dog seems really nice, doesn't she? Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? I'm scared. Of Dog? But she seems like such an angel. What if she... What if she keeps me here forever? She won't keep you here forever. She's an old god. If she says she'll let you go, she'll let you go. And even if she tries to keep you here, I won't let her. She just wants to... Think about what you've done for a while, that's all. It's clear she doesn't want you to suffer. I guess you're right. This anxiety of mine, it just won't go away. Just knowing I'm trapped in the sanctuary against my will, it feels like I'm in a constant state of panic. Oh, sis. This is the third day in a row. You haven't touched your food. Uh, what's wrong with her? She just sits there silently all day. It's like she doesn't care if she starves to death or not. I want to make her miserable, not kill her. What should I do? Uh, isn't there supposed to be an alternate uh, picture right here? I'm not sure. You, prisoner, I'm talking to you. Look at me, will ya? Don't make me curse you. Please help me. Me? Help you? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm a trickster goddess. Yes. I am trickster goddess Skunk, the cursed flower of Raphosian. Now, are you going to eat that food that I took out of my day to make it for you? Or am I going to have to cram it down your throat? Ugh. Oh boy, Skunk was really bad. But yeah, I'm gonna have to load up the game again to see if this is supposed to be an alternate picture for this particular cutscene. Look, I can't have you starving to death. I'm a mishap, mis, uh, I'm a misanthrope, anthrope, not a murderer. You're a healer and a fellow goddess, right? I was going to have this for dinner. Skunk cans a plate of food to vulture. Uh, seeing you miserable is supposed to amuse me, but just looking at you is making me depressed. Ugh. I spent the last hour making this for you. It's good. Don't you want something nice to eat? Please sit with me. We can share. Uh, all right. Why does seeing her miserable make me so sad? She'll probably attack me the moment I let my guard down, but I just... There's something about her that's comforting. You know, ice magic, right? Indeed. I'm quite the ice mage, if I do say so myself. Though I failed to see what this has any... has to do with any... Th my name is Vulture. I'm a wandering healing goddess. I was passing through that village when you abducted me. I have an assortment of medical supplies with me. They're hard to come by, and also quite perishable. If you would... If if you deny, if you would, I can't read that word. Da. And if you would da to help me with your ice magic, it could end up saving countless lives. Please. What? She cares more about the well-being of others than she cares about herself. Bah. Why care about helping others when I needed help? I was shunned. I was alone and desperate. I turned against the world. We only have ourselves to rely on. You don't have to be alone anymore. I'm an outcast too. I wander the lands and help people, and in return, they spread dark rumors and just trust me. See, you get what I mean. Even when you try to be good, people will hurt you and hurt you, and you hurt some more. But when they live in fear of you, heh <laughs> heh. 
I understand how you feel, I really do. But I think it's better to be good anyway. If I'm being honest, I'm tired of all this. I don't want to be a villain anymore. None of this makes me happy. I'm absolutely miserable. But it's all I've ever known. I could let all those these people go, but they'd still attack me. Even if I try to be good, there's still a bounty on my head. There's people that can tr help you. I used to have a friend named Raven, but it tur turned out she'd be doing awful things. She lives in the Divine Sanctuary now, and it... You want me to go to the Divine Sanctuary? I will not spend eternity being abused and mocked in some little cage. Life outside is already misera. It's really not enough. I'm sorry. I'll drop it. Hmm. I have some patients in a village a few days away from here. My supplies will spoil soon if they aren't preserved in ice. Without this medicine, if it doesn't reach them in time, please, whatever you want, I'll cook your meals. Treat you... Eat you your aches and pains. Just don't let them die needlessly. Please, I'm begging you. Hmm. <laughs> Come with, with me. Oh, I've really done it now. What is she going to do to me? So, about that whatever you want business? I've taken quite a beating over the last few decades. I've learned a fair bit about healing out of necessity, but to be honest, my skills leave a lot to be desired. I have a number of injuries that have never quite healed properly, and I can't very well see the professional. Oh, what a relief. That's all she wants. Well, you're in luck. I happen to be a professional healer. I'll help you out. I only ask you please consider my request. Alright, if you get rid of all of my lingering aches and pains, I promise to help you with your medicine dilemma. A thorough healing will take a few minutes. If you're ready, I need you to disrobe. Don't try anything clever. The trust between healer and patient is sacred. I doubt I could get past your security anyway. There may be some discomfort. Just close your eyes and relax. I must truly be a fool trusting her like this. Well, I have pla I have traps placed everywhere, and a little avid goddess stands no chance against my forces. Eh. Oh. Ah. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm convinced that there's supposed to be another picture right here and everything, but it's stuck with Mint and Casino. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably load up the uh, cutscene uh, that this takes place at, at but yeah. Ugh. But I think I'm going to stop it right here. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Skunk in the Sanctuary with me. I got to see what this error is. Because I know that there's supposed to be another picture right here. It can't be just stuck on um, uh, Casino and Mint. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope to see all you again next time. Until then, peace out. Ay, ay, ay.